Clock's about eight months in on, on Andrew Luck, had yeah. the surgery in January. So uh, d does that bring mm. up any red flags? That Surgery was a long time ago, no. and he's still not really there. No, I, and this guy is tough. We know that, and he has been beaten up. He's been hit, and they're doing the right thing by the player. There's no doubt about it. He's a franchise quarterback, and you have to protect him because you have to protect Andrew Luck from himself. But, you know, him not participating in the offseason, when I saw this all unfolding, I said, he's not going to be ready to play opening day. And they kept saying, we said, no, no, I already knew it. I said, I, I've been there. I lived this life. It's a hard one to live, but they're doing the right thing by the player, and Andrew will get back as when he gets back. But it's going to take him a year to finally feel comfortable again. And obviously the, the player's safety foremost when he's, he's your face of your franchise. But this is not a, a championship-caliber team, is it, the Colts? So it's somewhat of a transitional year maybe to make sure he's, he's good in 2019. You hate to hear that before the start of the, of the 2017 season. You're talking about 2018, but... And it's true, but, but, but you have a franchise quarterback. We know when this guy's healthy, he's played five seasons. The first three, they were in the playoffs. You know, his numbers are, are as good as anyone's. It, it entered as a rookie and, and took over from Peyton Manning, took over a team that was 2-14 and 14 and got him into the playoffs, actually put the team on the back for the first three seasons, and then all of a sudden he got beat up. You know, he, he's a beaten player right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, this guy, I look at these numbers. He's been sacked 156 times, right? He's 